Okay, NXT Roadblock here. Uh, we started off with Raquel, uh, Cora Jade versus Dakota Kai and Wendy Chu. Uh, they didn't really play into the Raquel Dakota Kai rivalry, which is like, damn, they really just rebooted this crap. They should have brought that up a little bit more. There's the Dusty Rhodes uh, Classic semifinals, which I don't like how there's two not real teams, you know what I mean? Uh, Wendy Chu is sleeping on them. She's got the whole sleeping Orange Cassidy gimmick. Uh, toxic Attraction ends up attacking Raquel's leg. Uh, she's trying to finish the match. Uh, Jade with a big shining wizard in a corner. Uh, scorpion kick by Kai. Then a chiropractor for a near fall. I love that fucking move. I just love Dakota Kai. She's great. Uh, Kai is trying to kick Raquel's head off, but is having an inner... Basically, she brings it up finally, and she's having like this inner fight with herself. Because remember, her and Raquel were friends. You know, and all that stuff. That match is underrated, the match they had at TakeOver. I really wish Dakota Kai would have won that match, but uh, she finally musters up the courage to hit the kick. She uh, cornered Yakuza kicks her. Vader bomb by Chu into a double foot stomp for the win. Uh, really did not see Dakota Kai and Wendy Chu winning, but they're probably going to win the whole thing at this point. Uh, Creed Brothers were jumped backstage. Everyone think it's Legato del Fantasma and other people. Uh, then we get Tiffany Stratton, uh, Daddy's Little Rich Girl versus Jabber. Uh, nice uh, last call Samoan drop by Tiffany Stratton. That was really impressive. Uh, Saray gets involved. The Jabber wins with a Shining Wizard. Uh, uh, it's just leading to the match between Tiffany and Saray, even though I thought they had a match already, but I guess not. Uh, Lash Legend and Nikita Lions get into it. It's uh, the argument of the thick women over here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, probably leading to a match. Uh, you know, everyone loves Nikita Lyons. Uh, I love it too. Uh, we get a really good match here. L.A. Knight versus Grayson Waller. Last Man Standing. Uh, Knight, I love Last Man Standing matches. They need to do more of these. I don't think AEW's done a Last Man Standing match yet. They need to do that shit. That's where I wish the, the Punk MJF match was. But we'll get to AEW in a second. Uh, Knight attacks him on his entrance. Waller with a big... Uh, gun stun on the rope. Not a lot of people use that move anymore. They just mm -hmm. chuck him on the rope. Rolling Thunder Stunner by Waller. So impressive. That's such a great move. Uh, Knight jumps to the top rope. Big suplex then hits the blunt force trauma, the BFT. Uh, Knight is so over, dude. It, it's crazy. Like He's probably my favorite dude in NXT. He's great. Like he's over, he can talk, the crowd loves him, they all do the, you know, yeah, and all that stuff. It's pretty great. I don't know how you would see this guy and not, you know, take him to the main roster. The guy legit turned to babyface organically. This, this guy didn't even have an actual babyface turn. It just happened because people like him so much. Uh, freaking Waller gets dropped off the stage, but his bodyguard catches him. Uh, Knight is trying to take him out for chair. He no-sells. It hits a choke slam on the apron to Knight. Uh, Knight handcuffs the bodyguard to the ring post, so now finally he can beat the shit out of him. Uh, LA Knight legit has one of the best neck breakers I've ever seen, man. The guy has a smooth neck breaker. Oh, uh, God. Uh, perfect. Another rolling thunder, uh, stunner. Knight catches him in midair. And then Knight chucks him through a table. That was a great spot. I wish he would have won with that. Because, like, the table was set up. He did the Rolling Thunder. Caught him. And then, bam, just dump him. Uh, trash can on Waller. A bunch of chair shots on the trash can while people doing the, yeah. Yeah, that was good. Uh, then a bunch to Sanga, his bodyguard. Uh, Waller has something in his hands. I don't know what the fuck it is. Uh, freaking uh, knocks out LA Knight. Puts him on the announce table. And freaking uh, Waller hits the Shane O'Mac elbow drop, the leap of faith from the ring all the way to the announce table. That was awesome because, you know, um, I like the way uh, Waller does his elbow drop. He does all the uh, like little fucking great Muda theatrics. So that was dope. And uh, Waller uses his bodyguard to get up and make it to the 10 and Waller wins. Uh, I really want LA Knight to win this match, but the way they had Waller win with the security guard and winning by luck, you know, his like he got it in the security guard's back and the security guard got up and raised him to his feet. I thought that was good shit. It was a very, very good match. 
Uh, Kaylee Ray and EO versus Caden and Casey, Dusty Rhodes Classic Semifinals. Uh, Team BBC is trying to get closer to Mandy Rhodes by being her servants. Uh, still crazy to me that EO is in NXT. Like, sad that we can't protect her forever. You're going to have to send her on the main roster and make her fucking um, Ching Chong chopsticks because that's all they're going to do when they see her or make her Oscar's assistant or some shit. You, you know how fucking Vince McMahon does, man. This guy does not know how to treat Japanese talent at all. Do we not remember Shinsuke Nakamura, people? Remember Jinder Mahal. Sorry, sorry, tsunamis. Oh my god. Uh, it's like I can't wait to do it with Kushida. Like, oh my lord. Asuka's been one of the only saving graces, but even her, they brought her up and beat her undefeated streak ASAP. Like, come on. Asuka basically had to get herself re over all over again. Uh, cartwheel super kick by Caden and Casey with a tornado dive. Everyone's doing the damn tornado dives. Tower doom spot by all the girls. Uh, then a doomsday device reverse Rana by Caden and Casey. I've never seen that before. That was cool. You know what a moonsault done. This was dumb again because you had the... Every makeshift tag team is making it to the end. They, like, no real tag teams. I would have had Caden and Casey win the whole damn thing. Uh, good, good match though. It was decent. Uh, MSK versus Imperium for the NXT Tag Team titles. Both teams in here are always putting in work. Uh, Pop-up, tilt-a-world, backbreaker by Fabian because due to freak of nature. Creed Brothers come in, beat off both teams, which I found weird. Like, you know, MSK was trying to stand up for you guys and you just beat them up, even though the Creed Brothers are baby faces. also? Okay, whatever. Uh, Joe Gacy and Harlan. I wish he would fight more, man. I like Joe Gacy. He's dumped. They're stalking the Draco. Draco. Uh, for the new team, Quinn comes to tell him Draco lives his own life, and I guess that's what we get. A Kid from NXT UK is coming to NXT 2.0. Very good, very young, very good. Had a great match with William Regal's son on his send off. I thought it was very good. Uh, also, a very good match is A Kid for the Heritage Cup. I think it was with um, freaking Supernova Man over there. Oh my god, I forgot his name. You know, Alicia Fox. Oh my god, I'm really drawing a blank. I just remember the supernova. Oh, I can't believe I forgot his name, but yeah, look that up. <laughs> Main event time, it is Dolph Ziggy versus Braun Baker and Tommaso Ciampa, or as I wrote, Tomato Champa on my notes. Uh, NXT title, spine busted at Ziggs by Braun for a near fall. Uh, Braun with a double suplex on both men. Braun Breaker's a shit, bro. Like, I don't know how this dude's only had like. A couple matches. This guy's insane. His ring psychology is really good. Uh, Champa with a tornado plancha. Because everyone now hits the tornado plancha. Uh, Champa with a fire. Firing up. A couple clotheslines. Uh, Ziggs catches a mid-air with a drop kick. That was cool. Uh, Steiner recliner trying to get Champa to tap out again. Uh, famous into a zigzag for a very close near fall. Project Champa to Ziggs. Uh, this was a funny spot where it looks like Braun was supposed to break it up, but he ended up missing. And good on Champa not being a retard. He hits Project Champa anyway. That was good stuff. Uh, sp uh spear to Champa by Braun. Dude, Braun Breaker's spear is a menace, dude. Uh, another spear to Ziggs. Pretty much he died. Like, oh my lord. If it wasn't for I'm tired of people using the spear as a finish, I would say this that, that should be his finisher. This guy has one of the best spears I've seen since Goldberg. Uh, Gorilla Press Slam, a Power Slam, Bobby Roo makes the save, uh, fucking Willow's Belt, Willow's Belt to Braun Breaker, then the fairy tale ending, Ziggs tries to steal it, but Braun kicks out, super kick, Zig wins the NXT title, Dolph Ziggler is the NXT champion, so this pretty much tells you Braun Breaker's going up to the main roster, uh, shit, it kind of sucks, because Braun was having a pretty good run, I feel like it's too soon, they should have kept him in NXT for at least six more months, you know, had, like, get through WrestleMania season, or debut him after WrestleMania, but I guess they're like, close enough, fuck it, but, uh, I thought Roadblock was good, uh, I, I, I enjoyed it, uh, the main event was really good, Champa's been, uh, the MVP of NXT, man, and, uh, Ziggler, I, 
I like I said, I am a big fan of Dolph Ziggler. I've always have been. It's hard to take him seriously these days, but um, maybe I don't know. Maybe this guy could rejuvenate rejuvenate his career. Same thing with Bobby Roode, man. 